Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be delving into the depths of the seas in order to shine a spotlight on mermaids. Not to be confused with merfolk, as merfolk refers to the collective race of mermaids and mermen, this video will strictly be examining mermaids, and mermen will probably get their own separate video. Furthermore, this list is going to be a bit different from most, owing primarily to the fact that it is very hard to objectively judge who is a better mermaid than another. So warning, this is going to be mostly, if not entirely, subjective. Yes, it's a scary word. With that said, there is one strict criteria for this list, and that is that all mermaids presented must be canon, because nobody wants to see a non canon mermaid here anyway. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five mermaids in One Piece. Number five, Kokoro. We are going to be kicking things off with the very first mermaid we ever encountered in the series, the train conductor Kokoro. This ice fish mermaid left her home on Fishman Island along with Tom and subsequently met her future husband on the island of Water 7, choosing to settle down and live life as a human. In fact, we went through an entire arc with this character with only the subtlest of hints that she may be something more than your average human. Then came the climax of any slobby and we were left with no doubt as Kokoro put her merhood on full display in order to save the straw hats from drowning in a tunnel on the judicial island. And despite having become a depressed alcoholic, Kokoro displayed that she was still an incredible swimmer. And after any slobby, Kokoro seems to have re-embraced her mermaid self and is often seen happily swimming. It's also been theorized that her shape may have been made deliberately dugong-like as a reference to the idea that real life sailors used to mistake dugongs for mermaids. In any case, Kokoro is the OG mermaid of One Piece and most certainly deserves the opening spot on this list. Number four. Kami. Moving into the more traditional rendering of a mermaid, we have Kami, a kissing Gurami mermaid who first appeared during Hachan's cover story. She serves as more of a comedic character in the series, with one of her most notable features being her particularly unfortunate luck. For example, to date, Kami has allegedly been swallowed by sea kings 20 times and generally ends up captured whenever she goes out. The best example of the latter is when she ended up being sold at a human auction house after a lovely day out with the straw hats. And while this wasn't a great outcome for Kami herself, it did lead to one of the best best punches in history when Luffy knocked the crap out of St. Charles in order to free Kami as well as to secure revenge for Hachan. Kami also has this wonderful personality quirk where she experiences severe shock from relatively simple phenomena, resulting in people within her immediate vicinity often experiencing an equal level of response shock. And just as with Kokoro, Kami has proved a valuable ally and friend to the Straw Hats, having assisted them during the Fishman Island arc and is definitely one of the most memorable mermaids in the entire series. Number three, Charlotte Praline. Here we have the only example of a half-human, half-mermaid on the list today, quite specifically a hammerhead shark mermaid, by the way, a fact which is nicely referenced in her hairstyle. But in any case, as you can probably tell by the name, Praline is one of the many daughters produced by the ever-fertile emperor Charlotte Lin Lin. But despite being born into the Charlotte family, Praline has no particular loyalty to them and took the very first chance she could to sever ties with them after becoming entwined with her merman husband Aladdin, of whom Praline is quite possessive. Praline also happens to be the first emperor probably only character on this list who happens to be an exceptionally talented singer, which was put to fantastic use when she was able to captivate an entire legion of sea slugs to attend an impromptu performance, which trust me is much more impressive than it sounds, and is actually in keeping with the traditional thought of a mermaid as a siren able to lure sailors to their doom. Sounds pretty mermaid-like to me, and certainly good enough to hold the arbitrary number three ranking on this list. Number two, Shirahoshi. All right, here we have some pretty serious mermaid. Described in her introduction as cute, but huge, Shirahoshi serves as the princess of the Ryuku kingdom, the monarchy that reigns over Fishman Island. She's a bit of a polarizing character in the series because of her tendency to cry in every possible scenario, but that is entirely irrelevant for our purposes here because nobody can deny the sheer mermosity that is Shirahoshi. Even as a baby, she dwarfed just about every member of her family, eventually growing into the giant we see here today. And this is purely speculation, but that may have to do with the fact that Shirahoshi is no mere mermaid that also happens to be Poseidon, one of the ancient weapons. As such, her primary power appears to be that of summoning sea kings, making Shirahoshi quite a force to be reckoned with actually. But most importantly, this strong affinity with the ocean and its inhabitants makes Shirahoshi a fantastic candidate to be one of the top mermaids in One Piece. And yet there is another who I can't help but crown, number one, 
Otto Hime. Now this might just be a me thing, but whenever the term mermaid comes up, the first character I think of is Otto Hime. Seeking to bridge relations between humans and fish folk, this goldfish mermaid is one of the most determined characters in the entire series, which is saying quite a lot because this is One Piece. But Otto Hime really is the best of the best when it comes to mermaids, merfolk, or fishmen in general. She was a true representative of the people, always advocating for the well-being of the subjects of Ryuku Kingdom, as well as raising a family of merfolk on the side, which includes includes number two contender Princess Shirahoshi, although exactly how Otohime managed to pop Shirahoshi out will forever remain a mystery. A truly horrific mystery to think about, the reality of which I think makes Otohime worthy enough to be number one on any damn list she pleases really. But sadly Otohime is a flashback character, and so was subject to a truly tragic death. But even then, the legacy of this mermaid queen lives on, not only in her children and their endeavours to make her ideals a reality, but also in those whose hearts Otohime touched along the way. I mean, how many people could can say that they changed a celestial drag. Not many, if any. And for that and many more arbitrary reasons, Otohime now reigns supreme as the pinnacle of mermaid in the series. And that pretty much does it for the top five mermaids in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to support this independent channel, then please feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your own favorite mermaids in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.